Willis was built in 1996, the brainchild of Jerry Robert Willis. And if that name sounds familiar to you, it should. Jerry was one of the last century's most sick and sadistic serial killers. Jerry spent most of the time cultivating similar sickos. I mean, these were the most depraved people you could ever imagine. Often, Jerry and his crew would whisk away unsuspecting families to the super happy fun room. Once inside, the families would be treated to a birthday cake and a private show by Willie Weasel. The shows would always end the same way. Jerry and his gang refused to be taken alive. After the police finally entered the super happy fun room, they discovered that Jerry and his crew had performed a satanic suicide ritual. Instead of surrendering, the killers decided to take their own lives. Those familiar with satanic rituals speculate that the suicide ritual was some sort of a catra transfer energy, where the memory and, and consciousness of the living relocate into non-living entities. 10 years later, Willie's reopens with a new owner, Tex McAdoo. He tries to keep the current public unaware of its horrific past. Things are wrong from the start. There's reports that the creatures would move on their own and others would kill and feast on customers. After several ghastly incidents, Willie's closes its doors again. <laughs> 